Japanese artist Dice is in San Francisco painting a little pig that will soon burst into life and pour out emotion. I think the power of animation is if it works, it comes to your heart directly more than your brain. I was doing it alone. This year, his short film, The Dam Keeper, received an Oscar nomination. It tells the story of a baby pig who protects his town from clouds of pollution with a windmill and explores the dark reality of childhood bullying and the healing power of art and friendship. The poignancy of his imaginary world is what makes Dice, Peak Doctors, one to watch. I've selected Dice as my one to watch because I am in love with his work, frankly. It's just as simple as that. You look at his paintings and you go, wow, he captured life in a way that I've never really seen before. It's got this beauty to it, uh, his sense of lighting, uh, the reflection, the warmth in there. Uh, just, it's, it's beautiful stuff. Their relationship goes back a long way. For seven years, Dice was an art director at Pixar, and during that time, invented concept designs for Toy Story 3 and Monsters University. He left last year to establish an independent production company with co-Pixar employee Robert Kondo. They've named the venture Tonko House. I left Pixar because I felt like my journey to become a better filmmaker needed to continue. It's hard to fail in that amazingly well-oiled system. Whereas right now, we're on our own. We're making a lot of mistakes and a lot of failures we're just seeing every day. The Dam Keeper was his first independent venture, an 18-minute film made of 8,000 digital paintings. Dice began his artistic journey as a painter and has travelled to all corners of the globe from Japan and Colombia to Paris and Italy, always with a brush and paints in hand. For him, the desire to see his paintings come to life led him to develop a new digital language in which his impressionist brushstrokes roamed free. I'm a pretty serious painter, and uh, when you see artwork come to life, you know, it's, it's so magical. And if there's a, a deeper story behind it, then it merely stays in you. I do think animation has that power. Today he's back in Tokyo with his business partner Robert to meet with a Japanese production house they hope will be able to turn the Dam Keeper into a feature-length movie. Animation culture in Japan is incredibly deep. Uh, everybody watches animation in Japan. In Japan, animation is not seen at all for kids. You'll see adults on the subway reading uh, comic books. It's really a medium which can express anything, not just kids' stories, but very, very adult things, um, which is not the way the U.S. looks at it. Hayao Miyazaki is arguably Japan's greatest filmmaker. His Oscar-winning movie, Spirited Away, is the highest-grossing film in Japanese history. Dice was captivated by Miyazaki's creative worlds in more than one way. His wife, who was the model for the character of May in the 1988 movie My Neighbor Totoro, is the great director's niece. Hayao Miyazaki is a filmmaker who a lot of us really revere here at Pixar. Not everything that you see on the screen has to be, and then, and then, and then. Some of it can just be detail. Some of the times he'll do these long shots of water drops on the ground or leaves blowing in the wind, and it really paints a picture. It's the beauty of that artistry that Dice hopes to tap into with Tonko House, as he combines the strengths of American and Japanese animation to create a new visual language. Looks like he's nervous about him opening his lunchbox. I don't know if anyone else is getting that. Today, he's in meetings with a production house in Tokyo to see if the Dam Keeper can be developed into 3D. Uh, thinking like maybe as he does this non big action afterwards, he should just go. Dice's work really incorporates the best of uh, Japanese animation with America. And, uh, I, I think, I think uh, uh, his character design is so appealing and cute, which he, he's borrowed from 
uh, of Japanese animation. Um, at the same time, he's taken a lot of the dimensionality, the sense of lighting and texture that, that he did uh, while he was here at Pixar, and so he's kind of folding both those together. Dice's movies come to life in the computer through his digital pen. Yet he's conscious that the perfection of the digital world has a way of sandpapering the rough edges of reality. This is why he's always called back to the street life of the world and the less reliable instruments of brush and paint. With the computer animation, you can ask for perfection. And as we always said, Art is human, and humans are not perfect. And perfection is not what we should be trying to achieve in art. We should always try to achieve the feeling and emotion. Dice will continue to chase that purity of emotion by creating stories that tell the truths of the human condition that unite East and West, North and South. I think the, one of the most important things for us in animation is to keep surprising people, to keep pushing things and bring people places they haven't been before and show them things in ways they haven't seen it before. After the break, Sylvain Chomet introduces us to his one to watch, an alchemist transforming cling film into water. <laughs>